Dusit Zoo formerly was King Rama V's private garden called Dusit Garden. The king had previously visited botanical gardens during overseas trips and realized how botanical gardens could be a place for people to relax, enjoy, and find knowledge. So he was pleased to establish the first botanical garden in Thailand. The zoo is situated on the eastern plain next to Prem Prachakon Canal, constructed by digging a big pool with water courses and roads. Then, a hill was formed in the middle of the pool, using the dug soil, so people call it Khao Din, which means Earth Hill. All around the venue, the king ordered the planting of various trees and forests for decoration and established his personal botanical garden called Wana. So, the entire area has been named Khao Din Wana. Initially, the venue was a vacation place for the king himself and courtiers in the palace, as Dusit Garden or Khao Din Wana was a part of Dusit Palace. In King Rama the Seventh reign, the king planned to expand and improve the garden and welcome people to visit for recreation. After the revolution in 1932, the government of Field Marshal Black Pibun Songkram asked for a royal permission to let the Bangkok municipality to turn Dusit Garden into a public park and welcome people. Chairman of the Regency Council Prince Atit Tip Apa granted the request on behalf of King Rama VIII, allowing Bangkok municipality to turn the area around Dusit Zoo or Khao Din Wana, Sanam Se Pa, and Suan Ampon to be a public park. Later, the Bangkok municipality moved Axis deers from Suan Ampon and other animals such as crocodiles and monkeys from Suan Saran Rom to Khao Din Wana. They also requested royal elephants from Bureau of Royal Household to show to the public on Sunday. When the constructions were done, renovating, Bangkok Municipality opened Dusit Garden to the public on March 18, 1938 and called Dusit Zoo, which is the first zoo in Thailand. Now, let's explore the zoo. Firstly, we would like to introduce you to see our Siamese elves deer. They are one of Thailand's reserved animals. Their elegant antlers are shaped like bows, so they're also known as bow antler deers too. Now, Siamese elves deer cannot be seen in the forest in Thailand. We are doing research to breathe and send them back to nature. Then, we come to see the albino common barking deer. It looks like a common barking deer, but the whole body is white with red eyes and pinkish nose. The white barking deer has been given by Her Majesty Queen Sirikit in 2002 and named Kun Pet. This barking deer is founded only in Thailand.
The Malayan tapir is another reserved animal of Thailand. They come out alone in the evening to find food. They're quick and good at swimming and diving. The common cero has a black coat and looks similar to a goat. It is also a reserved animal of Thailand. It is fond of climbing on cliffs and also able to swim. The ass's deer is the first animal of Dusit Zoo. It is middle-sized deer. Its coat is pinkish fawn, beautifully marked with white spots on its whole body, so it has another name, spotted deer. Apart from those animals, the Zoo Museum is a place that you shouldn't miss. Inside the museum, there are exhibitions and dioramas that teach us about the origin of life, animal species, ecology system, and biodiversity. Here we are at the Children's Zoo, another interesting area in the zoo. Most of the animals here are popular as pets or farm animals. When you come to Duzit Zoo, you should check out the African Animal Zone where you can find long naked giraffes speedy ostriches poor eyesight zebras and mere cats who love to stand on their hind legs Moreover, Dusit Zoo has successfully bred various animals, such as Red Shanket Dus Langur, a rare primate that are colorful animal with gray head and body. Its forehead is black-gray mixed with red. Its hair, tail, and bottom are white. The face is yellow, while the legs are red-brown. They can be found in Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. Their foods are leaves and raw fruits. Nowadays, the zoo has bred more than 30 langurs, and the zoo is the biggest breeding center of this species. Other stars in the zoo are the white Bengal tigers. They are happy to soak in water when the weather is hot. They can climb, but not very well. You can see the tiger's cave. Inside, there are many species of big cats waiting, such as Bengal tigers, fishing cats, panthers, leopards, lions, and clouded leopards. Do you know that chimpanzees are almost as clever as humans? They can assemble surrounding objects into tools. If you walk on the skywalk, you will see the reptile house. It is separated into four zones. Snake, crocodile, monitor lizard, and turtle. The building stars are anacondas, saltwater crocodiles, salcata tortoise, and aldabra giant tortoise. Then, we will enjoy the cuteness of bears. There are two species of bears in Dusit Zoo. Asiatic black bear. Asiatic black bear are the largest bears in Thailand. 
They have long hair with a white V-shaped chest mark and Malayan sun bear. While Malayan sun bear are the world's smallest bears, their hair is shorter with a white U-shaped chest mark. Last but not least, we will visit the all-time popular star in the zoo, Mamali, the hippopotamus. She is a large mammal that eats only plants. Do you know that there are many wonders in Dusit Zoo? Let's check it out. We start with the party-colored glass house. Established in King Rama VII's reign, it is awarded the Best Conserved Building from the Association of Siamese Architects in 2002. You can see the Thai traditional pavilion in the middle of the pool. It is Salak Lang Nam. It was once a resting pavilion of King Rama V. These days, no one is allowed to go on there. Another landmark of Duzit Zoo is the Schomburg Steer Statue. Due to its beautiful antlers, the species has been extinct now. So, Zoological Park Organization of Thailand uses its logo warning people to preserve nature and wildlife. The air raid shelter has been built in World War II. It's the public shelter that is in the most perfect condition. People can visit inside and it is an unseen in Thailand too. This bridge is a symbol of Khao Din. At the bridge, you can find various kinds of fishes as well as water monitors who lived in the nature. You will learn and enjoy with the nature and wildlife in the zoo school project. The project has been initiated in 2003 and founded by Thai government. It will lead to begin a zoo educational institute to support the lifelong learning and develop the knowledge source in the educational system. The zoo school project is separated into two key activities. The first activity is a model project to promote and support education activity for youth and students by providing a learning hub to create awareness on importance of the nature, wildlife and environment. It is a one-day trip for 100,000 students a year from primary to high school level. The second activity focuses on the development, promotes and supports the learning hub to facilitate the project proficiently. The activity is separated into 1. Teacher Workshop Two, zoo volunteers. Three, zoo outreach program. Today, you will get to know old wildlife 
Firstly, let's know what wildlife is. Wildlife means every animal including terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, birds and insects that are born and living in nature, forest or water. This includes their eggs too. In the past, Thailand's natural resources were very rich as forests covered in large areas. There were wildlife lived crowdedly. When we consumed the resources extravagantly and wildlife were hunted for foods, for fun, in sports and for business, both domestics and exports, without any law protected. Later, when the population grew bigger, the forest was trespassed and the animals were immensely decreased in numbers. Some of them have even gone to extinction. They are Schomburg's deer, one of the deer with beautiful antlers. So, in 1960, the government and other organizations join hands to legislate the first Wildlife Protection Act in Thailand. It is the Wildlife Preservation and Protection Act 1960. Later, the act has been updated to go along with the domestic wildlife situation in 1992, and it is effective until now. Now, Thailand has 15 designated reserved wild animal species. They are 1. White-eyed river martin 2. Javan rhinosaurus 3. Sumatran rhinosaurus 4. Kupri 5. Wild Asian water buffalo 6. Elts deer 7. Schomburg's deer 8. Ciro 9. Goral 10. Gurney's Pitta 11. Cyrus Crane 12. Marbled Cat 13. Malayan Tapir 14. Thias Munchjak 15. Dugong Apart from the wildlife, there are other animals you should know too. Protected animals are animals that are protected by ministerial regulation to prevent them from extinction. They are 201 mammals, 952 aves, 91 reptiles, 12 amphibians, 14 kinds of fish, 20 species of insects, and 12 invertebrates. You may be familiar with pets, but do you know why they are called pets? Animals that are fed and adorned by humans, including home animals and tamed wild animals, are pets. Many animals can be pets, and each of them serves humans differently. We can categorize them by their services. 1. Working animals such as elephants, horses, cows and buffaloes. 2. Animals raised from meat such as pigs, ducks, chickens, shrimps and fishes. 3. Animals raised for recreational purposes such as birds, fishes, dogs and rabbits. 4. Animals raised for scientific experiments such as rats, rabbits, snakes, and horses. Before you raise an animal, you should know how to take care of them. 1. Raise them in a proper environment and clean it regularly. 2. Feed them with clean water and proper foods. 3. When your pet is unwell, such as being dull, 
bored with food or cry strangely? You should be hurried to take care and give it first aid. If the condition is serious, you have to take it to see a veterinarian. Each animal has its own nature and characteristics to live and relate with others. We can notice that big animals is strong to hunt and protect itself, while smaller animal should have claws for finding food and protecting itself too. Poisonous animals are smaller than others, so they have a compensation to use as they please. Most of poisonous animals live peacefully. They don't harm others at first. They live everywhere both on land and in water. For your safety, you should know poisonous animals and avoid them. 1. Bees live in a large group and allocate work to each other. The queen lays eggs and worker will work. Male bees will breed with the queen. Their favorite food is a syrup from flowers, desserts and fruits. Bees' danger is their sting at the bottom. We should avoid them. Don't tease or be close to them. Two, wasp is an insect living in a large group in hollow of a tree. They eat small animal and insects. Their sting is very poisonous. If you get hit, you will hurt so much or even die. So don't mess with the wasp and stay very far away from them. Three, hornet is smaller than wasp. Their nest is on a tree, bush, or house wall. They eat small animal and insects. They can hit enemy with poison. If you get hit by them, your wound will hurt and be swollen. You should not play around bushes, otherwise you must check it first. Four, black tree ants live in a very large group in trees hollow and underground hole. They make a living on tree and ground. If you get bit, you will be hurt, swollen and itched. So be careful when you sit or lean against a tree. Five, scorpions live in dark corners under fabric pile, paper pile or wood pile. They eat small animals. Their poison gets you hurt and swollen while those who are allergic can die. To prevent yourself from scorpions, you should not be in the dark corner, wood pile, dense grasses or stone pile. Six, centipede, live on the ground, in wood pile, long grass, tree or trees hollow. They eat small animal and insects. Their poison is in the fangs. If you get bit, you will be hurt and swollen. So, you should keep your house clean and tidy. Don't be in cluttered place or play with soil or stone. Seven, snake is a reptile that lives on trees, in trees hollow, wood pile and hold. It eats animal and insects. There are several poisonous snakes such as green pit viper, cobra, banded trait, king cobra. Their poison is very dangerous. It makes you die if you don't receive aid in time. You should keep your house clean. Don't go into dense grasses and thick bushes or delve into any holes. Eight. Jellyfish is an aquatic animal that has transparent body. 
Some kind of jellyfish such as Portuguese man of water is very poisonous. By touching it, you will have a burning pain. If your head touches it, you can die. Just stay away from it. Don't touch it with hand or sticks. It's time to learn how each animal can serve human. Animals are beneficial to us in these following ways. One, foods. We have transformed animals' meat, fat, skin, blood, and milk into several kinds of foods. Two, labors. In the ancient time, when science was not developed, human rely on animal for works. Now, although machinery more involves in humans' works, animal labors are still important. For example, we still use monkeys to collect coconuts. Also, animal labors are better for the environment. We don't harm the nature like machinery. There are animals that can help human in different works. Each of them has special abilities, such as monkey can be trained to collect coconuts. Horses can be our vehicle by riding or mounting with a carriage. Elephant is very powerful, enduring, and easygoing. It is suitable to pull timbers from forest to rivers, delivering from place to place. Elephant is also a good vehicle when you have to go to the forest. Cow can pull carts and plow fields. Buffalo can also plow fields, pull carts for transportation. Three, kill pests. Now, science has developed and human often use chemical to kill pests, but it comes with negative side effects. Several biologists try to revive the old nature methods, which should be better in the long term. It's because animals will naturally eat each other. Recreation. Animals can entertain us spiritually and mentally. We believe that a complete wholesome man needs good physical and mental health. For the physical side, we can eat food and work out, and for our mind, we can practice. We also can have some recreation. There are so many ways for one to find happiness and petting animals is a good choice. It is beneficial to us both directly and indirectly. Pet animals are goldfish, fighting fish, parrots, dove, cats, dogs, and others. Five, some animals can watch over you. Animals can help us for security. It's their nature to always be alert and monitor against dangers. If you train them well, they can be very useful. These include dogs and geese. Six, animals can enrich land. Animal's dung is a good food for plants. When it is mixed with soil by human or nature, the soil will be very rich and suitable for planting the plants, will grow up perfectly and produce good crops. Seven, clear out hummus. When some plants die and is unwanted by human, some animals like termite, wheel and grub 
will help destroy it. Eight, for communicating purpose. If we train animals like pigeons or horses in the particular ways, they can be used for, for our communication. Nine, to balance the nature. Nature is mother to everything. Things happen by time and go along the rule of nature. Living things will live and take benefits from their environment. Meanwhile, they will give something in return as well. So, they are a part of the balance that will sustain the nature to live on conventionally. Enjoying cuteness of the animals. Now we should know possible dangers from them too. The animal to human diseases are vital to both animals and human. As long as we're close to pets like dogs, cats, birds, or fish, experimental animals, or economic animals such as cows, buffaloes, pigs, ducks, or chickens. It is possible to be infected. Some diseases break out only among animals, while some can go into human through wounds, eating and breathing. Let's learn more about the animal to human diseases in Thailand now. 1. Bird flu or avian influenza emerges when chicken infects avian influenza type A or H5N1 virus, which can be found in poultry. Human can get the disease when we take care of infected chicken or kill, pluck, clean their organs or eat unwell cooked meat. We can also get infected from the tainted area too. Two, influenza is caused by viruses in human and animals. The most common symptoms are high fever and breathing problems. The influenza can be separated into three types, A, B, and C. Influenza A virus mostly causes illness to human and animals. There are viruses subcategories in this type. Each subcategory causes illness in a particular animals, such as in poultry, but some virus can harm more than one species, such as poultry, pig, and human. The best way to protect ourselves from the illness is to get anti-influenza vaccine yearly. Also, we should be hygienically like closing mouth and nose when we sneeze and wash our hands often. We should not get close to patient and put our clothes, gloves and masks to protect ourselves when we have to work with possibly infected pig or poultry. 3. Nipah viral encephalitis may be unfamiliar to many people. Now, let's get to know it together. Nipah viral encephalitis has been found in 1999. Nipah virus can cause deadly breeding problem in human and animals as well, as encephalitis can be deadly. There are reports of the disease's outbreak only in Malaysia, Singapore, Bangladesh and India. The best protection is to avoid touching Nipah virus infected animals and avoid eating fruits that are possibly stained with bats saliva. Four, hydrophobia is a deadly virus caused disease to mammals including human. The infection can damage nervous system and cause death. The disease can be found everywhere. In Thailand, 
The infection can be found in dogs, cats, and humans every year. Dogs and cats are critical disease carriers in Asia. To avoid the disease, we should not touch or feed wildlife and stay away from animals with unusual behaviors, such as Nocturnal animals come out at the day or too much friendly animals. Also, don't touch fallen bats. When you're a bit by an animal, wash the wound by water and soap. If the animal is suspected, you should go to see a doctor immediately to get a prompt treatment. Five, leptospirosis is caused by infection with spirochete bacterium called Leptospira SPP. Humans and other animals get infected by drinking contaminated water. The disease can be found everywhere and mostly spread in the summer and spring. It also can be found in rainy season in tropical areas. The outbreak often comes after a flood. As for the prevention, rat is the key carrier of the disease. So, we have to control number of rodents. We should not touch urine, blood, or tissue of infected animals. Otherwise, you have to put on gloves and wash your hands after touching the animals or anything that is possibly contaminated. Six, Escherichia coli, or E. coli, is a bacterium that causes serious food poisoning in humans for a week. The most common symptoms are diarrhea and blood in stools. Those who are severely affected damage the kidneys and can be deadly, particularly children and the elderly. Mostly, people get the disease by eating uncooked foods such as minced meat or unpasteurized dairy. Some meats should be prepared in safe ways. You should also wash your hands and kitchenware after using it with raw meats. Let frozen meats defreeze in the refrigerator instead of on the table. Don't mix cooked food with raw ones. Don't use the chopping blocks for both meat and vegetable. Cook meat properly. Drink pasteurized milk and juice. Wash your hands every time after touching animals. We should put on disposable gloves to work with animals and always wash your hands after that. Before leaving you today, we will tell the rules to follow when you visit the zoo. 1. Follow the rules and warnings in each area. 2. Don't bully, tease, or throw things to the animals. 3. Don't bring your pets to the zoo. 4. Don't give food to the animals because the staff has prepared proper food in proper amount to each animal already. 5. Don't throw food containers such as plastic bags, foam boxes, or other materials, including balloons, rubber rings, ball, and sticks into the animal zones. 6. Don't bring objects with sound such as radio, cap guns, whistle, firecracker, or firework to the zoo, as it can scare our animals. 7. Please keep the venue clean by throwing waste into bins. 8. Don't pick, break, write, or move any objects, flowers, or trees in the zoo. 
And these are the wonders of Dusit Zoo. Apart from cute animals, some are only living here and some are very rare. The zoo has interesting background. It's the first zoo of Thailand.